this silicone container I'm gonna put a picture of it here I bought it um, from online and I've been so excited because I wanted to make cake I'm only gonna post one video and I'm just gonna post my car anyway that's not really what this video is about this video is about the air fryer I got a new air fryer well I got my very first air fryer in the whole world my first air fryer and it's so cute let me just show you my air fryer that's my air fryer. It is so cute. It has rose gold handles, rose gold top, and well, the inside obviously is not rose gold, but right now, oh my god, right, what am I doing right now? Right now, I'm attempting to make a cake. So the thing is, I saw a TikTok where this guy, I'll just put it here, this guy makes pancake in the air fryer, and I was like, that is so cool. I mean, if you can make pancake in the air fryer, that takes so much time and energy out of the whole cooking experience. So I figured, okay, 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 I have some extra pancake batter, but I mean, uh, pancake mix, um, but I don't have eggs, but it should be a problem because the box says I don't need, I don't know where the box is, the box says I don't need any eggs. And I was like, that's fine. And then I was like, oh, I do have some cookie dough mix. And they're both going to expire soon. Why not? I just mix it together and see what happens. I just forgot that the, the cookie dough mix needs... Uh, it needs eggs. Also, I, I do have something I need to ask. Uh, don't really know how to ask this. Uh, oh, before I forget, I have plans. So, I actually drew this up on my iPad. How cute is this? I'm trying to create this and I think it's so cute. I keep getting nervous and thinking going back and forth about should I make it like this or shouldn't I? But I already started making the square so I said okay I, I, you're gonna have to commit to it because you're already in the thick of it. And so I got the yarn for it. I already got the yarn. I got it. I got it. I got. I calculated it. I calculated that each yarn can produce about um, what is it? 15. 15 squares. Okay, wait. No. Yes, because I did five. That was halfway. Yeah. Each yarn can create about 15 squares, and I need a total of 48 squares per side. Each square is 5 by 5 cm. I'm not sure whether I'm going to make an oversized <laughs> um, <laughs> a blouse, but I figured, okay, I figured what I'll do is I'll make one side, I'll sew it up and everything, and then I'll fit myself and see whether it actually fits or if it's too big. So, um, yeah, there is this in the works. Okay, I just heard it go ding, so I think uh, it's done. I'm so nervous. Okay, are you ready? We're both gonna see whether this turned into a disaster or not. Oh my gosh! I made it! 
made a cake. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. No, 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 no. Okay, my mom always said you gotta poke it in the middle to see it's fully cooked. And it has to come out clean. Kittens, your mom has made something. I'm so sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to be put forward there. I, I'm so sorry. Everyone keeps telling me I have very mum energy. So I just, I just have a tendency to just whatever. Your big sister has just made something. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I'm so excited. Oh my god. No, I'm gonna take it off again. This is literally in my air fryer. Look at that. It's risen and everything. It's quite small. Not gonna lie, it's quite small. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to now attempt to take it out and plate it. Okay. I'm a bit nervous. Oh, it's not too hot. Alright, alright, alright. Ooh. Alright, let me just take that out. Put this away. Okay. Oh my goodness. Should it be like this? Oh my goodness. Should it be like this? I don't think I can do that. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this has to make sense. Okay, should I do it like this? Alright, three, two, one. at the bottom it's not cooked at the bottom you can see that clearly it's it's wet in there it's wet on top there well that's fine you know why I can just do this like a little magic trick pop it back in and we'll just put it back inside okay I'm so sorry about the crazy angles um oh my god now you're the other side <laughs> oh, okay um, yeah, I'm so sorry about this. I'm so excited. I'm making my first cake. Uh, ooh, I totally am forgetting that I'm also making dinner at the exact same time. I'm gonna stay on my toes with all this experimental cooking. I love it. It's so nice to get something new, like a new equipment, and to try it out for the first time. And just experience it, have fun with it, see where you can, what you can do with it, what are the limits and what are the boundaries of it, you know? A new oven, a new toaster, whatever it is, it's just fun. I think that's what makes cooking the most fun, when you can experiment, play around with new ingredients and things like that. Oh, it's just lovely, it's just lovely. Uh, the best parts of life for me is when I get something like this air fryer and I can play with it and see what it can do. Is that genius? Like I created something. Oh, that's so fun. <sighs> One thing I've been experimenting with is oil consumption. I've been struggling and I tell you struggling with keeping my weight in check. In fact, I'm not gonna lie. I've gone from being 75, which was not that great either, and I was pretty proud of it, to eating way too many Happy Meals, which is why I have like three, three more unedited videos. Oh my goodness. They will come soon. But basically, I ate way too many Happy Meals, and obviously I gained too much weight. So, in my quest to beat the fat, I have been trying to find ways to cook the same dishes without using a lot of oil. And so far, so good. Um, I was 82 about two days ago, and I'm now down to 81 point... Okay, I was 82.3. Hello, editing AI here. Sorry, the audio is gonna suck totally. Um, I'm editing this video, and I just realized how much my accent was fluctuating. Gosh, it's something that happens when I get really excited, and um, 
I realize it's probably going to be very confusing for anyone who's watching this video to be like following like why does she sound like this but then she sounds like that. Um, I don't know why I do it. It just happens. It's really weird. And um, I think it's just a lot of whatever I've been consuming recently. Sometimes I tend to emulate the accent or that behavior or that mannerism a little bit and that's also a contributing factor. Um, I behaved like this or done this since I was a kid and uh, yeah, Ooh. <laughs> I think this is a big reason why um, actually I never really thought about or I still don't really think about doing YouTube full time because I have, this is just one quirk, I have a lot of quirks and I am often quite scared to put myself online because I'm scared to be judged but um, who isn't? So after a while, I was just like, you know, never mind. Let me just share the content I want to share, the content that I feel comfortable with sharing. And I think I probably wouldn't have uploaded this video had this not been difficult enough for me to talk about because uh, I really wanted to say something, but I was having a really hard time saying it. Still having a really hard time saying it. And so anyway, this is just sidetracking a little bit. Uh, yeah. My my accent is doing weird things. I am I am very much aware, and I apologize. I really try my best to film when I am most calm, because quirks like this don't show up. Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah. I, I'm. Anyway, I hope that explains it. So now I'm eighty one point eight. It's not that big an achievement, but it's 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 little bits and pieces that counts. So right now, if you look into my pot, I only have water and noodles and carrots in there. So essentially, I'm just letting the oil, well, it's not really oil, the the seasoning, the packet seasoning, boil in the, in the water. And then I'm just boiling the noodles in the water with the mixture of the seasoning, just letting that happen. I just went to wash the cabbage. It's always good to wash your vegetables. Just make sure you rinse off any um, bacteria or insects or whatnot. Just give it a nice good rinse and a tap dry with a nice... Um, I have a packet of tissue here that I just take out and use liberally. And once I get all that nicely packed down, you can't even see what I'm doing. Just enjoy it like a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, and take my handy dandy knife and I just chop it all up. Chop, 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 chop. <sighs> yeah, so once I have all my vegetables nicely done, I always um, stagger what I add into the pan. So these ones cook faster so they go last. Whatever cooks slowest goes in first. And so I boil the carrots, add all the seasoning, make a rich sauce out of it. And then let it just cook until it's almost kind of like a roux. And then I add the noodles. And then after that, I add at the very end the cabbage. I feel like it's been working so far. The noodles have come out gorgeous. So that has been one way that I've been trying to reduce oil consumption. And it has really helped by 0 0.5 kg. But I mean, it's something, okay? It's something. finished making the noodles. It's that quick. And so I can't avoid it any longer. I have to be honest. So the thing is, I kind of know at this point that anyone on this channel is here for me. Um, I recognize that the other channel, a lot of people come there for Wit Core and they come there for Dream Core or they come there for Omega Mart. Nobody's there for me. And that's fine. I'm actually very happy to create that content, but that also means that I don't want to bore anyone with my concerns, especially if they don't really care or are invested in me, <laughs> you know? Um, so I'm going to make this announcement here, but I'm very nervous about it because if you are here, you probably do care about me and you probably do care about seeing me. And I have been kind of consistent over the last couple of weeks posting out new videos on that other channel. And 
kind of like posting up like one video ish a week on this one and I kind of just wanted to say I'm sorry because I am so distracted and the reason why I'm so distracted is because I'm really excited to make this game I'm so excited and I I've decided to take a month off making videos so the next few videos that I've made I've made three and instead of uploading them all sub sub uh, consecutively like you usually would after I've edited them I'm actually going to post one up a week uh, for the next three weeks <laughs> one this week next week and the week after and that's because I can't focus I really can't and I need to make this game finish this game so I'm taking a month off YouTube and because I know the people here actually care I wanted to say sorry here uh, I've been having so much fun making content reading your comments and everything and so yeah I'm really 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 sorry I'm really sorry I'm gonna miss you guys but I feel like it's just for the best and I feel like if I keep trying to make content when I'm this distracted uh, it's gonna come out like I'm not even paying attention to the stuff that I'm looking at or even paying attention to you guys I may not even reply to your comments for like days on end because I'm just so distracted and especially right now I've been creating a lot of art and there's so much art to create for the game and let's check on that cave hey guys let's see how it did this time okay it still looks nice and brown all right let's go and flip it okay it looks really really good oh I'm so excited okay it out. Ooh, it's so hot. Ah! Ooh, it's really hot this time. The other time I think it was not that bad. <laughs> Maybe it's because it wasn't fully cooked. Okay, okay, alright, 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 okay, okay. Can you imagine I literally just got this silicone container in the mail today? Oh, I've been waiting for it for so long. Come on, come on. Okay, let's get that out. ready for this. Are we ready to see if it has cooked or not? Three, two, one. Oh, it's really hot. Oh, oh, it's so hot. Uh, oh my god. There. Okay, okay. It's looking much better. Oh, yes. Cooked all the way through. <gasps> Success. Whoa, the crowd goes wild. Yay. I, I make a cake. I, I made a cake. I made a cake. I made a cake. I made a cake. Yeah, so you can see at the bottom, it's not ooey gooey except for the melted chocolate. It looks really well done. Okay. So of course this means we've got to flip it again. Or should I just peel it off? Right. I should totally peel off the parchment. I don't know if it's better. I think it's better from this, this direction. Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh, the chocolate chip has just melted. Oh, it looks delicious. Can you imagine I made this in the air fryer? Me, I made this in the air fryer. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh. I think I want to keep it upright this way because I feel like if I flip it over then all the chocolate gets stuck to the bottom like this. I don't want that. This looks so freaking delicious. Okay, so it's not like the most beautiful. It kind of looks like a gigantic, humongous chocolate chip cookie. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, the moment that I've been waiting for. Does it cut like a cake? It does though. Oh, but it's it, it's definitely upside down because like the tough part is on the other side 
Oh, now I'm on the fence about it. Maybe I should just let it cool. Anyway, let's try and take out the piece. Well, it's definitely nice and crumbly on the inside. It's definitely upside down. Okay. Is it cooked all the way? It's cooked all the way through. Okay, I'm just going to put this piece over here and you can examine it. Bring this into the light. Yeah, you can see the nice air bubbles. It is a hundred percent cooked all the way through. This gumminess is just because the chocolate is oozing into the cake batter. Oh, look at that! It's so soft. Oh, I want to try a bit. Okay, the moment of truth. Okay, so this is obviously how the cake should look like. This is it flipped over. That's the top. It's so good. It's so good. I feel like I should just flip it over. Yeah, because it's so difficult to cut like this, the way I've done it. I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, so this is the cake flipped over the proper way around. It looks so nice, so yummy, so scrumptious. Ah, you can see it like that. So yeah, I cooked this in the air fryer. It looks rather nice. Of course, I could have done better. I could have added egg and then it would have risen or at least had it some height. <laughs> But for what it's worth, it's a delicious eggless cake. Okay, so <sighs> as the light dies, I guess I want to basically just say goodbye <sighs> officially 2021. I think the next time I do like a video that I haven't filmed before this day um, will be in 2022. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure if anyone cares, but if you do, if you did, um, I really, really, really do hope that I do a good job with the game and I really really do hope that you will enjoy it so um, thank you so much for supporting my channel both this one and the other one you guys are amazing I can see the channel is growing and it's a lot to do with your love for weirdcore and a lot to do with your love for searching for new and cool and interesting stuff and 
I just want to say please keep doing that please keep looking for new and strange things on the internet keep exploring keep learning keep discovering who you are and keep pushing the boundaries of what your skill set is and keep becoming the person that you've always known that you're going to be because that's what I'm doing for myself I'm giving myself the space to grow even if it means um, walking away from something that I really love to try on something new <laughs> um, things are hard change is hard life is be the best whatever it is you want to be and i love you guys <laughs> because obviously you guys on this channel are here because you guys care about me anyway um so that's it this is the last last fuck <laughs> this is the last video of 2021 i'm officially saying goodbye for a month and I'll see you guys next year. I'm wishing you all a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May your days be magical. I will record bits though. I will record bits and I will share it with you next year. So all my Christmas videos, all the cute things I film for you guys, all will be edited and posted next year. And until then, I will see you in the next time. Bye-bye.